Yo, yo, Daily Fire, if it's trash, turn it off. But if it has value, please share it out for me. Of course, it's brought to you by MaxEffortMuscle.com for all your supplement needs. Go to Max Effort Muscle. All right, Daily Fire episode 314. You're not stuck with it. I wanna, I wanna just recite this real quick. It's easier to stay the same, it's harder to change. But you have to make that decision every day. But you're not fucking stuck with it. So we're gonna talk about fitness for, for a second. You're not stuck with this body that you dislike. You're not stuck with that you know, strength that you're at. You're not stuck with it, you can change it. Now, it's easier for you to say, uh, it's easier for you to complain actually. Oh, you know what? I'd like to be 15 pounds lighter. Oh, it'd be cool to have abs one day, but that's just not for me. That's not my body type. That's not my uh, genetic potential, blah, 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 blah. You're not stuck with it, but it's easier to stay the same. Same with business. I don't really like my job. I'd really like to do something else. I'd really like to do this, but it's easier to stay the same but you're still not stuck with it. And so that's what you have to think, that you're telling yourself that you're stuck with it. So it's easier to give in. But the reality is you're not, because I experienced all of this thing, all of this. And I've also experienced it with other people, that they've changed their body dramatically. When there's no way, when I saw the before, I could believe that the after is even possible. I mean, I believed it was possible because I've seen it, but they didn't probably believe it. I saw it in my gym from when I was 20 years old all the way till this I want to have. It's like literally in, I'll be 45, 25 years, I've seen a bazillion before and afters. You're not fucking stuck with it. I've also seen people change their complete situation from they do this corporate job, but they want to be a trainer, they love fitness and they completely transition out of it and make more being a trainer owning their own gym than they did at their corporate job. They're not stuck with it. I wasn't stuck that I was gonna be in the coal mine for 30, 40 years. I wasn't stuck that I had to live in that trailer. I wasn't stuck that I had to live in that area. I wasn't stuck that I wouldn't be willing to do, you know, I wouldn't, be able to do something I love in my career. You're not stuck. So quit telling yourself that you are. I'm here to tell you that you're not. You are not. Now, like I said earlier, it's easier to stay the same. It's difficult to change. Most people, I don't like change. Well, what you're saying is I don't like change. You're just saying I wanna fucking stay the same. If you're okay with I don't like change, I just want to stay the same, then don't fucking bitch to me or bitch to anyone else. But you, listen to me. Get in close, Kyle. You're not fucking stuck with your situation if you don't want to be. You are choosing to be in that situation. You are choosing what you weigh. You are choosing what you do, how much you make. You are fucking choosing it. So, is there going to take one week, one year, 10 years, 100 fucking years, I can't choose that for you. And you can't choose that for you. But you have to be willing to fucking change it. And it has to be aggressive. You can go back out now. It has to be aggressive. It can't be just like one day and then miss a fucking day and then one week and miss a fucking week and one month and then miss a fuck. Nah, I'm in this motherfucker. It's what I do. That's how, that's the mentality. If you don't want to be stuck with it, this is what I do now. I'm obsessed about it. I fucking study it. I practice it. Practitioner and I educate. And then I fucking help. And then I do it more. And then I try new things. And then I keep doing it. And then I send the extra email, make the extra phone call, show up early, go home late. I'm obsessed about it. This is what I do. I'm not fucking stuck with it. I wasn't stuck with the life of my mom as a waitress and living in a trailer. I could have been. And you're not stuck with that. Your reality is what you want to fucking make it. It's just whether or not 
you're willing to do what it fucking takes because I wanted to quit a bunch of times. And I would argue maybe a couple times I should have because it looked so dim. But I couldn't get it out of my fucking head of how I saw myself operating. See, that's one thing I think that's a little bit lost is that have you ever dreamed, actually daydreamed, I used to be called a daydreamer in school because I was thinking about what I wanted to do with my life or how I want to operate. Like, have you ever really dreamed what you, how you want to operate, where you want to work at, where you want to live, how you want your day to, what's your perfect day? Have you ever dreamed about that? And then work backwards. That's what I'm talking about. Like, you might have one situation. And you might be very unhappy with it, or you might be happy with it and you wanna change it a little bit, but you're not stuck with it. You can evolve, you can educate yourself, you can take risk, you can fucking change it. But it's easy to stay the same. It's easy to stay the same. So you are choosing that decision every day. Am I going down this path to make a difference? and just bitch that I'm stuck with it? Or am I choosing more discipline to try to change this motherfucker forever? That's it. Now, what happens is those interweave and cross from time to time. You get off track, you get back on. I'm not saying that doesn't happen. I'm the guy talking to you right now that weighed 238 one time. It got away from me. I was super fucking busy. I was super fucking stressed out. I was powerlifting, I was eating. I had cellulite on my fucking hamstrings, on my abs. I didn't even look like the same fucking guy that, that I got married, married my wife. But then I fucking changed it. And I said, you know what? I'm getting past some of these hurdles right now. I'm catching some momentum, but you know what? I got dressed up for a big meeting and I didn't feel that confident. I didn't feel that 180 ripped up fitness dude. I was 238 and fucking fat and unconfident and my jaw was all blown out and I didn't look like me. So what I did was I got my shit together. I went on a fucking epic run of 13 covers and magazines in about a three year period because I said, fuck it. I'm about to get in the craziest shape of my life and when my shit is on top, when my business is banging, that's when I'm gonna be at my best. And I got to live my best life in that period of time because my discipline was at a whole nother level. I'm not fucking stuck with it. You understand me? You're not fucking stuck with it and no one's coming to save you. Save your fucking self. Daily Fire, we out.